everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, because we have some big news today. Yes, we've got some big things to start with, but before we get into that, what I'd like to do is just kind of dart some dinosaurs, because we're going to take a look at what dinosaurs are coming this week, because remember, it's Wednesdays, apparently, not not normally Mondays that it used to be that they show all of the showcase for what's coming up. And I think I had a quick look at it before and I was like, eh, yeah, it's kind of okay. <laughs> Luckily, we've still got some Dominion dinosaurs making an appearance in this week. So that's pretty decent. Um, but apart from that, it's kind of like, it's okay. It's not the best. We've had better weeks, but it's all right. But there was a couple of things I wanted to dot them up. Oh, the Endlodons disappeared. That's brilliant. Okay, so maybe there isn't. We'll quickly go collect this. And for the first time ever, it looks like I'm actually in the runnings to get a full thing daily collects. I don't know whether it's because I'm in this time zone now and I'm not in the UK and I'm able to just get them when they show up. I don't know, but I'm doing it. Okay, so here we are in the newsroom. So Wednesday to Thursday, which is probably the day that I'm uploading this, I think Thursday, uh, you got a attack incubator to get, as well as like the fireworks uh, scent also to get. But the dinosaurs are Gallimimus, Dinocaris, Dinocaris, and Phosphoracus. Out of those, yeah, it's up to you. Friday to Saturday, <laughs> moving straight on. Friday, you've got an epic incubator to get, as well as some other cool stuff. Uh, and then Saturday, you've got a, uh, a rare incubator as well as health boost to get as, as well as another epic in incubator and the start of the gold chase. But the dinosaurs are a dodo, I think, is that Hast Eagle? I think it is. Um, not the Overraptor, the other one, unless it is the Overraptor. I can't remember. And then the Ornithomimus. Those two last dinosaurs have both been region locked. So I think Ornithomimus was only in... UK and Asia or something and then the overraptor looking thing was only America something like that I'm not exactly sure but on the Sunday this is they give you a, a wide variety so you've got two attempts to dot a legendary and one attempt to dot a unique and as far as the uniques go you've got early Spix, which I think has been around for such a long time and if you're using it and you haven't got it maxed up yet you either have just kind of started playing the game or you've, I don't know, <laughs> I don't have it maxed up, but I don't use it. Um, the other one is the Tupi um, bird hybrid, which I think is, I haven't really seen it too much, so I'm assuming it's not that great. And um, the other one is the Dodo unique, or at least not Dodo, it's like the bird, the, the most recent rare bird. So out of those, I probably don't need, um, so out of those, I'd probably dart the little birdie bird. Um, because I think, I don't know about the other two, I've probably got enough for early spics if I really wanted it. But I feel like maybe I've seen the Dodo birdie thing in some high level players teams. As far as legendaries go, it's up to you. I don't even know what the, what those things are even called. Take it. <laughs> and then Monday to Tuesday, you've got the little birdie bird. Um, again, don't know what that one's called. And there is an Asaurus. A uh, Klenikin, I think, is the, uh, the, the death bird, killer bird, whatever you want to call it. And I can't remember the vulture looking thing. Out of those, you'd probably just go for the little duck. I, like I said, you've got the unique hybrid there. And if you want to add more DNA to its uh, pot, you can just dot its rare uh, recipe there as well. Uh, on the Tuesday, you've also got a speed incubator to get from uh, boosts, as well as a legendary incubator too. Pretty much every day, there's at least something. There's either a rare incubator, an epic incubator, or just something good to dot. It's an all right week, but there's nothing there that's like, at, like you know, all the high level players are using, unfortunately. Something for everybody, I suppose. With that being said, I'll take my five T-Rex. DNA, heck yeah. We have some big news. We actually have Anglosaur looks maxed up to level 30, or at least we're gonna get it to level 30 in this video. But we have it, finally, it is max attack. It's gonna cost me quarter of a million, but I think I'm all right. Takes you to 6,100 health and 2,005 passive attack. <laughs> it goes through armor. It cannot be like damage reduced. And now that it's got 6,126 health, now we could add one more boost to it, or we could add two more boosts. So I would assume we just give it maybe just, you know, two more health just to get it over a little bit away from a big hit from a Mortem Rex to instantly kill it. 
So this thing is the perfect counter for the um, the the friggin' bird that instantly goes for the distractor kill thing, because. Not only does it get a passive off and it won't be attack reduced, but then it'll also go for hostile globe, which does 3000 damage, but then also makes it vulnerable before it hits. And then it's just like, it, it's gonna kill it with 2000 at, like damage already going through. And then on top of that, like four to 5,000 damage. There's no way the Phosphoracus, I think that's it. Or Phorex, that's the one. <laughs> we get it eventually, can I get a... <laughs> Eventually we get that and it, it will kill it. So I'm, I'm glad that's that taken out of the way. But one of the biggest things now is the Godzilla Crocodile. I didn't unlock this via the normal way. No, I know. I'm, I, I, I hate, it pains me to admit this, but I had to spend 30,000 bucks to get this. You had this one, basically. You had two of the Crocodile. It was so weird. Like randomly there was just, oh, you can get four incubators worth. So you could get 160 DNA, which is over half of what you need to unlock it. I only got two though, because 30,000, sorry, 60,000 bucks is, oh, oh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of bucks. Um, but we've got it unlocked. Um, and I'm just seeing what the other ones are, but uh, it's just, oh, oh, there's just so many. It's, it's not, I don't want to look at it. It makes me cry, the amount of money. We have Imperitosuchus. Now I don't have uh, and enough to make it like the next level, but we may as well unlock it. The Godzilla Crocodile. Look at it there. Gorgeous. So 4,650 health, 1,300. Whoa, and we're almost halfway to getting into level 27. Already, if we bought the other two incubators, we could get a level 27 right now. <laughs> but I missed out on a few of these raids. You know, I was like a little bit behind and... When it comes, oh, is it smoking out its mouth? Oh my God, it is. That's so cool. <laughs> they put a cool effect on that, it's awesome. I've came across this a couple of times and each time it's given me hell. So it has a defense shattering counter and on escape. Oh, it's got that, what's it? The para, para tops icon. What does it, what does it actually do though? Hold on. Escape, unable to swap, fine. And then when opponent swaps, increase damage by 50% for two turns and uh, attacks for two turns and you attack for 1350. So in that order, you get 50% extra attack and then you hit. You're immune to stun, brilliant. Um, but mm, they're okay. The render the bleeds, good to have a resistance against. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, sweet, there it is. <laughs> the invulnerable, so it has a lot going for it. The stun is great, the speed reduction is great. It has a death roll, the Basque, higher speed. Uh, so you get 100% chance to stun your target. You're unable to, unable to, they're unable to swap for two turns. And you heal 2,025, increased damage by 50% as well. Ooh, so you stun them, you get your health back, and you increase your damage. If only you also increased your speed, that would be brilliant. <laughs> so vulnerable rampage, but the defense shattering counter, oh, oh, it's just nasty. This thing's, this is another thing that's made for taking on Anglosaur Lux. So I don't know what other people have put on for this thing. So when in doubt, the best thing to do that I have found is you basically just go on the leaderboards and just see what they've done to it. Because these guys apparently know what they're doing. Mitch, I'm so, this guy has came out of nowhere and he's doing really well. He also has a level 30. What? So you think I'm bad. He also has a level 30. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy's paid so much money, it's brilliant. <laughs> he's, he's, he's like opened every incubator that you can get Rexy in. Wow, that's amazing. He's gone for 2,297 attack. So it's, it's kind of like a a, a nice all-rounder there for 7,630 health and 2,200 attack. So nothing's prioritized, it's went for a kind of a balance. But this team right here, this is the Dodo thing that you can actually dot with 152 speed. Seems to have a lot of stuff, Jesus, it's a blooming book. Um, wow, and speed reduction 100%, cannot be stopped from swapping, and, oh, it's, it's got some really, oh, yes, oh, baby, <laughs> and this thing, 3,000, you know, just max attack on this, because as soon as it comes in, it can do, like, a bunch of damage as a fierce counter, and then it's got priority to increase its attack, and also does damage, it's just stupid, that team right there is just ridiculously OP, it will take a long time for this team to be knocked out, like a lot of these, like Hydrobo is great. Referantum, that's the one. <laughs> Lycosaurus. Referantum's great. Rexy, I mean, yeah. <sighs> that is a. Le 
That's not a fun team to come across. Definitely not. That's why we're gonna copy it. Hey! So we'll swap out something. What was in that team? Referentum was on the team. Gogo. Gogo Trebex is pretty decent still. But something that I find if I use is never really that great is Indotaurus. I know I've put a lot of boosts on it. It's like a max health. But I find that Scorpius Rex is more... And, you know, Indotaurus is kind of like a counter. Like, if it gets hit, it goes through, you know, shield and hurts it. But you've got to think about how your team's working. And actually, the Crocodile does that as well as being able to heal itself and do loads of other stuff. So we want to get its health up a little bit. We have like 14. So he was on like 7,000. So we can look at what it would be on t at level 27. So we want to get, we want to get like kind of close. I mean, putting the health on would mean i think that it no oh, okay so it's, it's probably based on attack actually so if we put one attack on it yes so that changes its bask so we'll 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 put you know what it's 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 the freaking crocodile it's going to be good i'm pretty happy just to put loads of uh boosts on this thing so we can get it to like 6000 possibly i mean there's uh, 6200 we've got three more levels to add to it um, I might as well just add the three. And I think once I've done that, I'm not going to add any more because that takes us to 500. And within three levels, I'm probably going to be on like 7,000 health. The next thing really is just to get the attack up. So with that being said, I've seen some comments that are like, you know what? I would just love a video if it was just all battles. And we've kind of done stuff like that in the past with live streams. I'm still computerless. At the moment, if it isn't obvious. <laughs> so I'm still working on a laptop. But when once I get that sort of set up, I, I'll happily do like maybe once a week, we just do loads of battles. Or when there's a, a skill tournament that comes up, we'll just we'll do loads of battles as well. Anything good? Anything new? Oh, it's, oh, well, it's a Rexy and it's also the new level 30. Out of everything to start with, what do you think? Should we start with Rexy? Oh, should we start with the Ankylosaur Lux? Let's, I mean, what they start with like Sonosaurus or Indotaurus or Referantum. What would be good against that? I think probably the Ankylosaur Lux is the best one, really, just an all-rounder. Referantum would be the easily shut down. Oh, hey, it was one of them, I knew it. Referantum would be the easy shut down uh, Rexy. So I'm kind of glad I did this one. So with that being said, we don't remove his thingy there, do we? No. Um, so I'll do this one. Yeah, he was, he's definitely going to go for the cloak. Yes, I knew that. I am a, a, a very good player, you see. Yes, very good. <laughs> so Hostile Glow, I think, removes that. That's great. So he's basically wasted. Um, oh, but he got a freaking crit on that. I don't know, like that. Uh, we could see if we can get lucky with a stun. Um, other than that, he's probably just going to go for his piercing. Um, so, you know what? I'm happy. I'll, I'll trade Ankylosaur Lux for an Indotaurus. I'll risk the biscuit and hopefully get... Ah, I didn't get a stun. It was, it was worth a shot. But now, what's really good, he doesn't have his cloak. And um, we he's pretty much dead. Because we'll switch in Rexy. We're quicker. You can't swap out. You will die. Hopefully, a lot of people don't know that about Rexy. That if you swap out, you, uh, you just die. <laughs> Uh, we could go for this dominant roll, but there's a chance of not killing us. I may as well not. Oh, there it is. If we get a crit, he's dead. I think he might be dead anyway. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he wouldn't have been dead. He wouldn't have been dead. Oh, you hate this. Oh, it's a referendum. It does often happen. It does often happen. Like a referendum is like the perfect counter for it. Um, ooh, ooh. So now what do we do? Now what do we do? It's tricky. It's really tricky. Um, oh, man. I think... You know what it is? You know what it is? Hear me out. It's a waste of a Paratops. Because it's not a very good Paratops. It's a 2100 attack. So, you know, at least it, it gets to do something. And against a Referentum, it's it's decent. Now he's going to go for his, like, bleed stun thing. Actually, I don't think it stuns anymore. But it does go through... Uh, yeah, that's great. That's really good. Because I want it to be... That I mean, he's probably going to go for a regular hit, isn't he? After. But I want to die next turn. So that... Um, he's just going for a regular hit. Oh, he goes for the biggest hit! That's brilliant. Okay, I'll happily take that. Because um, I want Rexy in this turn now. So he has still got a two cooldown on his super distraction. I'm not quicker. He has priority. 
he could, if he wanted to, um, go for his, like, nullifying. Uh, but, oh, I think I've killed him. No, what happened? If I get a crit, I've killed him. Oh, that crit comes through. We are winning this by pure luck. <laughs> Jesus, Rexy. This is doing amazing work here. So we need something like a Hydro Boa. Hydro Boa, perfect. Will kill me. Brilliant. Uh, but does he have it? Oh, he has his own Paratops, which won't be quicker. Oh, if I get another for the third time, it's not a crit. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if it was a crit? That would be hilarious. <laughs> so is he going to heal? No, he doesn't. How much damage? Oh, he's killed me. But you know what? Well played. Well played. Happily, happily take that. Happily take that loss. Because I should have lost that like three times over. <laughs> But I just got lucky with all the crits. But it's great to see Rexy get some kills, though. Okay, come on. Give me Godzilla Croc. We just had, like, a Rexy showcase. Even though we lost, it was still quite fun. Yes. Is it a good one to start off with, though? I don't know. I feel like Referentum, as far as the meta is, Referentum is just the best thing to start off with. Especially if it's, like, quite fast. Because even if it's against another Referentum, you've pretty much won. Uh, against Sonosaurus, it does pretty decent. Against Indotaurus, it does pretty decent. Scorpius Rex, even? Ooh, right. Well, okay, how's the... What's the best way I could play this? Alert nullification. Um, but then he's still got a resistance to it somewhat, so I may as well just do this. Hope for the crit. Don't get the crit, but we'll end up doing a lot of damage. He can't heal from his damage over time. We do actually take his attack down by a lot, so even when he does his toxic quills... He doesn't get the crit, and we resist some of the bleed. Um, so, yeah, he's he's in a position now where if he doesn't swap out, he dies. Now, we could use this to our advantage, and he might swap. I feel like he's probably not going to, though, right? He's not going to swap out. Do you think he's going to swap out? Because I could switch in, put in the crocodile, and then just kill him. Uh, but I kind of tend to just go for a big hit. Yeah. I, I thought so. I thought he would probably stay in, and I thought that was... It's probably just better for me just to... Oh, could I have done, like, damage? Clench damage over time! Damn it! I could have done that one! Oh, no, I'd get it anyway! Whee! <laughs> it's like I so meant to do that. At least this way, i definitely kill him. He probably would have died anyway from the bleed, but... That was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I just bumble through, don't I? It was funny, I saw in the comments people were saying, Baby, it doesn't matter, like, how much money you spend on the game. If you're not skilled, you won't you won't do well. Like, yeah, probably right. <laughs> right, okay, so against you, I think the best scenario is a level 30 max attack. Freaking yes! Anklosaur looks to get the stun. Sweet! And we've got a shield now. Um, and he can't go through the shield. And now it's, he's in a tough situation because he's going to take a lot of damage if he hits me. Oh, he goes for the swap out. Now, what could he have going? I know he's got a power top, so I need to be worried about that because that can do a lot of damage. Uh, ooh, okay. Okay, fair enough. I can't swap out. Um, oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not good because he's, he's probably going to go for his... Oh, wait, 4,500. Okay, okay, you know, we'll do this. Hopefully he doesn't get a crit. He does get a crit, and we just survive. <laughs> just. So we get the counter. Um, and even if I went for the shield... Okay, I'll trade that. It's 2-0. I'll trade my Anglosaur Lux for something. Let's see what else he has, because I don't think he's going to put in his power top. He's going to save that for a swap in. So let's see what his final dinosaur is. And that will determine how we play the rest of the game. It's ref. Right, okay. Um, so I can swap out now. And I could swap in my own ref. But I'm kind of tempted just to have my crocodile. You know what? Sudden. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Why did he do this? Okay. I mean, I'm going to swap out. So he's going to do a big chunk of damage to my croc. But I have Bask, which means that, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty safe. He still does 5,400 damage on his, like, revenge thing. Uh, I think I have armor, but it doesn't matter. Oh, and he gets a crit as well. Do like that. <laughs> so we do the counter. Bam! Some damage. Now we can go for a bask here. Um, he won't have this. He's still got a delay on this, so I can. I'll do this, and then I guess I could bleed him. I suppose. I, I don't know. I'll just do a bask. I've never used this this thing before. So. Oh, we stun him. Sweet. 
Yes, some health and some attack increase. Yes. So now we can do his biggest hit. Um, and with that being said, do I just want to do that and then have Gorgor Trebex come in? I think I think that's probably the win there. Oh, and a crit. Ooh, ooh, you hate to see it. Is he going to go for heal, though? I mean, you get the passive heal, but who is he? Oh. I'm so confused. Why did he... Is he given up? He could have went for his biggest hit, right? Um... Now, he's going to go for priority, right? He's going to go for the priority. Uh, we may as well bleed. Yeah. You hate to see it. You hate to see the Paratops play where he goes 5,400 health back. Oh, it's horrible. Hate it. Does he have a resistance to the stun? So, I'm lucky I got that, really, I suppose. Hmm... So a little bit of damage over time, but it's not much. So I could go for a Basque here. But if I do, he's probably going to swap out and he's... Ooh. Maybe I get a stun? Yes! We get the stun! Sweet! Oh, it's working out in my favor! So he doesn't get his counter heal or... Well, I guess I didn't heal him. So he can't swap out still. And if I get a crit, I think I might have killed... This has been perfect, Crocodile! Ooh, I'm happy with my purchase. Oh, no crit this time. No crit this time. And now he's vulnerable. He gets the counter heal off. What's he going to do here? Now go for the biggest hit. Yes. Yes. And that is game set match, I think. Unless he's got his heal back. It's a cooldown of two. So I think he's got that back. But if we can just prioritize him a little bit. We're done. Yep, there we go. We've got the speed increase. He can't swap out. GG. Well played. 3-0 up against a Paratops with 2,600. Level 30. Oh my god. 3-1. I think I played that perfect. I think that deserves to go down in the Hall of Fame and play. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. That crocodile saved me. I think I got lucky. I mean, he had a 33% chance to not get stunned. But... Yeah, I, 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 it's all RNG, I suppose. But that crocodile really made me win that. That was awesome. Crocodile, please, please, I've waited so long. No, oh, well, there's a Rexy. Okay, okay, we'll do it, we'll do it, because it's got a Rexy. Because why not? We like Rexy. Whether it, we win or not, people, people hate it, because apparently it's really good, but I never seem to win with it. <laughs> Is it because it's it still needs to be a high level, or do I need to shift around the boosts? Or maybe I'm just a bad player. <laughs> Who cares? Let's go. Oh, Spino Constrictor. Interesting. Ooh, that's, a, that's a lot of damage. I guess it is immune. Uh, does it have a priority move? It has instant destruction, I suppose. Um, is it is it a fact of like who... Are we the same speed? No. Then why... What? What? <laughs> Whoa, that is a high health monolo rhino. Wow, okay. So what what do we think is the best thing to take this on? Um It's it's probably Ooh, ooh. I'm tempted for Rexy. I am tempted for Rexy. But at the same time, am I? Ah yeah, go for it, let's go. <laughs> I mean, if he goes for his like shield or Really, he wants to go for the Cunning Strike. That would be a perfect counter for me. Let's see if he did. He didn't go for a shield. Oh, did he go for the shield hit? Or did he go for the reducing of the attack? And re attack reduction. Good. Okay, well played. I was thinking if he doesn't do it, it's not the end of the world. But actually, if he did do it, it is the end of the world for me. <laughs> so we'll just switch to Paratops. Because, we I mean, I'm pretty sure we can heal and get out of here in time. As well as do, you know, a, a, a load of damage to a Monolo Rhino, which has a decent amount of armor, like 30%. We went for another cunning. Weird. I mean, I would have just done the big hit and killed me. Okay. Was he expecting to die? Was that it? So I'll, I'll just go for the heal here. <laughs> Depends what he does. Yeah, the, the shielding, that's... I guess that's fine, but I'm pretty much gonna heal everything, I think. All the damage he's done to me. Because I think I'm just under half health here. So not only can I switch out, but uh, I think I've got full health. Never mind, we've got full health. Um, so we could go for a big hit. Um, 
he's probably gonna go for his big hit now. You know, we may, I might as well stay in, I suppose. Do a big hit, an instant heal, and then him do like a little bit of damage for me. And I'm in a good position. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not really losing anything here except for, except he's, he's losing the damage he's doing to me. Oh, now he's gonna swap. Okay, Spino Constrictor comes in. Okay, um, I mean, I guess I probably could have killed him and went for an attack, but I assume he just was expecting me to do that. Um, so what can he go for? I, I may as well just go for the big hit with it. I, I never feel confident. I mean, I could have done cleanse damage over time there, I suppose, uh, if I was really smart. But at least this way I go through his dodge and make sure I kill him. So maybe that was the smarter play. Maybe next turn I can go for my instant... No, it's a cooldown of two. Never mind. As long as I... Ooh, yeah, as long as I survive a big hit, I can just go for a heal. Don't you love Paratops? Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dear. No. <laughs> so what, what do we think here? We go for... Do we just take the hit here and then switch to Gorgo Trebex? I don't know, man. I, I mean, yeah, he's, he's definitely... Oh! Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't like a guaranteed kill if I had some health. I'm, I'm used to seeing early Spicks have like 2,500 damage, like minimum. So that's kind of interesting. Um, what's its speed? Oh, speed's 164. That's why. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we've lost this one. But again, it's always fun to have Rexy around, isn't it? So we'll go for the nullify. If we get lucky, we may get a... Um, a crit here, if we get lucky. I mean, there's no point in me going for the devious or whatever it is. Oh, there it is. Well, at least we got another kill, I suppose. So it's not so bad. I'm, I'm pretty sure we've lost this one, though. Uh, Gripalith. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, it has a lot of health on it. A lot of health. Um, has its rend. I think I'm, I'm reduced from rend. Yes, sort of will stay in. <laughs> Uh, I can possibly switch out as well afterwards, so we'll do that. We'll see if he does the classic, you know, fierce defense and then heals himself. That would be interesting. Um, oh, is it cooldown of one or two for my... Oh, it's two. Oh, 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 that's interesting. <sighs> what do I do here, do you think, guys? Oh, did I... I think I can go for this, actually. Now he's got no chance of a, of a thing. I think I've still got my dodge. Yes, I still have my dodge for one turn and one attack. Okay, so it's gone now, right? So, oh, here it comes. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I guess we just do the... Yeah, here comes the heal. Fair enough, fair enough. So he goes for the heal. Doesn't heal himself fully. Oh, that's interesting. In comes a giant hit. E, do I have... I still have my dodge on. Whoa. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I've definitely lost this. Or have I? Have I? If we get the swap out, fingers crossed, we get the swap out. Please, please. Yes! Okay, we got the swap out. Come on, Rexy, you got this. You got this. Oh, there's a swap in slow. So he's, he's definitely going to be slower. I think it's a reduce of 100%. He's zero speed. Slower than a snail. And in comes my hit to kill him, I think. I mean, he's probably going to die, right? Yes. If he swaps out, he dies. I think. We'll see if I get a crit, maybe. No, he's not. He survived. And then he gets the counter off. Oh, it's interesting. Wait, what did he have? What did he have? I can't remember. What was it? Oh, it's a bottle of rhinos. <laughs> Damn it! Oh well, that, that was fun. That was a fun game. I very rarely see Grippleth, but we almost did it. We we were guaranteed a loss there, but we almost snatched a victory. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, oh, come on, come on, crocodile! Give me the croc! Give me the yes! There's a croc. Okay, so what are we thinking? We're into Taurus, Referantum, or it's the same kind of play as last time, didn't it? I put out the Ankylosaur looks out first, so we'll do we'll do that. I think into Taurus. Sonosaurus and a referendum. Oh, Hadrosaur looks even better, actually. That's that's really good. I mean, yeah, you can go for your big hit, but already it's halved, basically. Um, oh, not happy with that. Okay, gives me invincibility. It's probably going to be Paratops, right? It's probably going to be Paratops. It's the only reason you'd swap something in. So you don't... Hold on, this is amazing. So he doesn't reduce my attack, 
He doesn't get his dodge. I think he might still get to keep his crit chance, though, his crit increase. But apart from that, just everything gets reduced. And his speed increase as well. <laughs> he becomes vulnerable. <laughs> just not a good time for Scorpius Rex there. Um, and, and then I guess I could swap out? I mean, what, he could go for his instant ambush again. Um, and he doesn't. He's, he's just admitted defeat, like, right? He's like, right, that was awful. I'm, I'm ho Why did I do that? <laughs> I mean, the Toxic Quills is, is the, the best play. He does keep his crit chance. He doesn't get the stun. He does get my counter, which kills him. But at least he got the bleed. Like, that's what you want. You want to just do... Look at that, man. 2,100, man. That's a lot for an Ankylosaur Lux to take. So the best way to take them on is a counter. Like, some of the goes through shield and uh, armor... And something that goes through, um, oh, what is it? Something that bleeds or something that is rendering is, is a good one. So what can we do here? He's, he can't do his fabled fangs. Um, I might just want to get the swap off. If I'm going to be honest, I, I want that. So yeah, you do a big hit to me, but I get the counter and you don't get to heal. <laughs> so not only do you take 2,005 damage, but Paratops comes in and does another 2,000 and odd damage. Now, this was fully boosted. And level 30, this would be nasty. Another, like, he'd be left with a 1,000 health now at this point. So, yes. I mean, if he, hopefully he goes for the, uh... Oh, I was hoping he would go for the, uh... The, what do you call it? The, um... The, where he just does the dodge. That would have been brilliant. But now he's probably going to kill me. 3,500. Actually, no! Okay. Precise impact. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, doesn't get the crit. I guess he didn't get any extra chance to crit. He's only on 30%. But still, it could have been good. I think that I'm going to get more health back than he took off, though, here. Yes, I do. And now, he could go for his, um, Fabled Fangs and do some bleed damage. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Let's see what he does. He does do Fabled Fangs. Doesn't get a crit. Uh, I, I am resistant to that as well. So, so far we're 2-0 up and we haven't used the croc. So, <laughs> I'm using, like, what I'm normally used to. That's why we're winning. But as soon as I switch to the croc, we'll lose. 100%. <laughs> so, not bad. We've also got a priority uh, heal here against Referandum. So, he's probably, yeah, he's probably just going to go for the instant uh, kill. So, do I want to just fodder off Ankylosaur Lux here? I think, I think we'll risk. We'll risk it. We'll risk not getting stunned and getting a counter 2,000 damage off. We'll risk it. Because we're going to shield. Um, oh, we did. Oh, we had a chance to stun him. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Could have stunned him. We didn't even factor that in. But yeah, there's the invincible. Oh, yeah, because we're below. So we don't even get stunned. Oh, you know, it all worked out. <laughs> I knew I was going to die. But I was like, oh, will I get the damage off, though? I got the damage off. So his priority is gone. And now let's try it. Let's bring in the Imperator Suchus. Is it good? Urgh. We'll go for the speed reduction. Because I think he can be sped reduced. Yes, it can. Uh, but then this also does speed reduction as well. Uh, is it decreases speed 75%? We may as well do that. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of damage, I suppose. Um, but I do have armor. Um, I do have a counter, so I get it. Bit of little bit of uh, damage off him. We'll do the death roll, which does another little bit, and then we get bleed, and then we speed reduce him, which means that I'll be able to go for my big hit next turn. Oh, yeah, the damage reduction there. And then a little bit more. We're, we're slowly chipping it down. It's a ref. It's tough. I'm 26 and I don't really have too many boosts on me. Um, so I could go for Basque here, um, and I'm kind of tempted to go. You know what? Oh, okay. No escape. Increases my attack and gets hit. Oh, that's not good. No, I, unless he's got Paratops. Oh, oh, he, wait, what? Did I just reduce him from leaving? Oh, I did. Oh, my God. This has worked out perfectly. He got bled as well. Wow. Did he have a resistance? He didn't have a resistance. So why did he do it? Oh, well, the crocodile actually won one. I'm so happy! The crocodile has won its first battle! Oh, you love to see it. And there you have it. Wow! Again, somebody who I obviously very rarely comes up against it. And because it's not on the icon, you don't think, oh, I'll not be able to swap. 
But there you go. Or two. <laughs> Thank you for that. So if you've enjoyed this video, guys, it's always fun to dress for all the life, especially when we get to use some new dinosaurs. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.